Welcome to Technical Founders. My name is Carlos Lara, software engineer and entrepreneur. And in this video, we'll be looking at list view in Xamarin Forms. A list view is a visual element in an application that displays a list of items. So let's, let's actually go ahead and see it in action. Here we have a basic Xamarin Forms template app here that's just, just a label object that says, Welcome to Technical Founders. Here's our C Sharp partial class, um, the, our content page. And here we have our XAML. Let's actually go ahead and remove the label. And let's, we'll just go ahead and add a list view. And here it is, list view class. And here we are creating an instance of the list view class in our XAML. Let's just go ahead and run it real quick on iOS here just to see what it, um, what it, what it looks like. And again, we have also Android. Here we have our Android and our iOS. But we'll just be running on iOS for this video. And here we see our list view. It's a scrollable list of items. And this is how it's supposed to look um, in iOS. This is a native list. Um, so here it's it's empty. It doesn't have anything. We haven't assigned any items uh, to, to it. So let's actually go ahead and stop running. And so for our list view, let's actually open it up this way, expand the tags, because we want to access a property of the list view called item template. Because in the list view, let's, let me open it up again here. We have not only the list, but we have the individual rows in each list, and each row can be um, customized. So we need to actually define what the structure of the row of each row itself, and that we do that inside the item template property here of the list view. I'll just give it more space, and then we have data template, and then we finally get to view cell. View cell is the one we want to use he here. There's also text cell, there's image cell, um, but the one that you want to use most of the time is view cell because it's the most um, a general one, the most uh, customizable one. And here, um, well, we don't have anything, so first of all, we want a to display items. So, and we'll do that in C Sharp. So let's go ahead and give our list view, list view an identifier name here in our XAML. Let's just call it list view, lowercase initial L. And let's go here to the to the C Sharp. And actually, let's um let's clean this up just a little bit, so it's a little bit easier to see. There we go. Actually, just a little bit more. Okay, so we come here, and here in our um, page constructor, after initialize component, which initializes the XAML file, we'll say list view, and there it is, dot, and we can access its properties. So you see, you can see here all the properties and events that um, list view class, that list view object has. And so, for example, we have header, we have footer, we have a diff, we have even um, you know an, an effects property, binding context, background color, list view. Is the class with the most properties than any than any other in Xamarin Forms. It's the visual element with, that has the most properties, and that's a hint also that it's one of the most important um, that we'll be using. So here we want one called Item Source. Item Source, as we see here, it's a uh, system dot collections enumerable type. So that, well, that means it's just a collection type in C Sharp, a collection of items. So we'll say Item Source, and we're going to assign it to. And here we'll say new, and let's just do a list. Just keep it simple. Let's just do a normal list, and it's red because it actually needs the namespace. And the list class lies in the system dot collection sub generic namespace. So let's go ahead and add it here at the top. And then we need a type for this list. So we want a list of strings. So a string uh, type here. Um, and here we could just close this off, and then um, it'll be an empty list. But we want items. So instead of closing it off here. Let's open up um, braces, curly braces here, and close it at the end. And here's where we'll add our collection of items. So let's just say we want numbers, one, two, three, four, et cetera. And they're a type string, so that we have to put it in quotes, this data type. And let's, just to keep it simple for this video, we'll just do um, numbers just to illustrate. This is a very introductory video um, to the list view. And let's just stay at five uh, for now. So our list view item source property has been assigned a, a new instance of the list class of type string, and it contains these five um, elements, which are of type string again, one, two, three, four, and five. And to your example, it already knows because this is we use the list view um, here, the identifier. Now this is not enough. We actually need um, let's so we have our view cell here, our our template for our for our row. 
Now we want an object, so what do we want? We can have a, a layout, like a stack layout as we, we've done before, or a grid, which we'll get to later. But here we'll just want a label, just a simple label. And here we want for the text property of that label to display these um, strings, one, two, three, four, and five. So here, and if you haven't watched the video on data binding, I highly recommend it. There's a previous video in the series. But here we'll do a binding um, because with a list view, the way it works is once you set the item source property of a list view, it automatically assigns the binding context of that list view to that collection object. So here I can just say binding. So the text property, I can just say binding. And I'm just going to do a dot. The dot means that you're binding to the whole binding context, not just a property or a sub part, um, sub property of the, of the item context object, but to the whole object because we don't want a specific property or anything like that. We want to bind to the list itself. So the dot just means we're binding to the whole thing. So in Xamarin form, you don't, we don't need to set a binding context uh, um, property here. There's binding context. We don't need to set it um, directly. Um, same, same here, list view dot binding context. We, we don't need to do that because it's automatically done for us here. The item source becomes the binding context for all the child elements, whatever's inside the list view. So when we say bind the binding here, the text property, it's already going to it's already already knows to grab um, this this list. So let's go ahead and run it and let's see what we get. We expect to get a list of strings that say one, two, three, four, and five. And we didn't customize it any further. It's just the label with the text binding. There's a lot more customization that we can do, but this, this is just to show you in a very simple way. And here, yeah, sure enough, we see these um, rows. Each one is a label, and it's bound to this um, C-sharp collection, that it's um, a list of type, of type string. Very cool. Very nice. And of course, there's clicked events or tapped events for the elements of the list view and so much more that we'll get into um, in, in future videos. This is just an introductory um, video. And here, the, the numbers look a little off-center. We can actually set properties on the label. For example, um, vertical options, center. We can say horizontal options, uh, center as well. We can we can do you know more customization. We can add more elements here. We can add an image if we wanted to. We can we can do a lot of a lot of things. But this in this video we, you can just see in general the structure of a list view, how it works, the the hierarchy, um, the children hierarchy here, how to define a, a view cell, a row, and how to set a binding to a property of a child element. Um, based on the binding context of the list view, which comes from the item source property. And in the next videos, we'll go into more detail and show you the power of a list view and how we can use it to do more powerful data binding for our Xamarin Forms um, applications. And again, this is iOS and we have Android um, as well. So thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, any thoughts, any comments, please leave them at the bottom. Also, please subscribe so you're the first to be notified. And I'll see you next time.